This is a fairly common exam style sequence problem. We're given a sequence with four terms in, but two are missing. But we're told how to get from term to term. So we times by three, then add k. And we want to find the missing terms. And to find these terms, we have to actually find what k is. And we use some algebra for this. Now we know this term here is 11, so to get to the next term we must times this by 3, so we must do 11 times 3, and then add on k. Well 11 times 3 is 33, then add on k, k is still unknown, but this term here in terms of k is 33 plus k. Now then, to then get from here to the next term, it's still the same rule, which is times by 3, then add another k. So if we times this by 3, we get 33 times 3 is 99, and k times 3 is 3k. But then we have to add on another k. And this goes down to 99 plus 4k. Now, if we just compare this with this, we have 109 must equal 99 plus 4k. So 109 equals 99 plus 4 lots of k. Well, 99 plus 10 is 109, so, 19, so 4k must equal 10 which means that k must equal 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5. So k is 2.5. We can now find the missing terms in the sequence. So this term here was 33 plus k. So 33 plus k is 33 plus 2.5, which equals 35.5. So this term here is 35.5. Now then, to get to the first term, we have to work in reverse. Go backwards. So rather than times by 3 and add k, we have to take away k and then divide by 3. Well, 11 take away k, which is 2.5, equals 8.5. Then 8.5 divided by 3 gives us the first term. Of course, we have the calculator for that. What was a fraction? 8.5 over 3, which is 85 over 30. We'll leave it as a fraction.